This is chapter two of the accounting and bookkeeping tutorial. Today we're going to talk about income statements, statement of capital, and the balance sheet. So, so far we've known that accountants keep track of business transactions, and this is often represented by the accounting equation. Assets equal liability plus capital. These transactions are often shared to stakeholders through financial statements, and there are three main financial statements that are often used in accounting. We have the income statement, the statement of capital, and the balance sheet. So what type of information can be found on these reports? These reports show stakeholders, whether it's a client, a manager, or, the, or a government agency, how the business is doing. And these are, things are often shown in an accounting period. There are interim accounting periods that can be a month, three months, six months, nine months, but it's often less than a year. We have accounting periods that are years, uh, and the two main ones are calendar years, which are companies that keep their accounting systems uh, to run from January 1st to December 31st. We have others that are fiscal years, which run their accounting system from July 1st to June 30th. Examples of those may be schools, or government agencies or nonprofits. One company that also does a fiscal year that is very popular is Apple. Or we could also do a certain point in time or a snapshot of the business. For example, if you were to look at what's going on in the business or how the business is doing at that specific time, June 23rd, 2013. The first report that we're going to talk about is the income statement. And the income statement shows net income or next net loss for a period of times. The first thing that you will find on the income sta statement is the header. So you will find uh, the name of the company or the business, the type of statement that is being prepared, and for the accounting period that this report is being prepared. For example, we have Joanne's bookkeeping business, and this is an income statement that describes the year ended December 31st, 2013. Keep in mind that the income statement shows revenue, how much money the business made, and shows expenses, how much money the business spent in order to make those revenues. Here we have that in this case, the bookkeeping service had a total of $36,000 in a year of income, and it had a total of expenses of $27,200. If we subtract revenues minus expenses, we're going to we're going to arrive into net income, which in this case was $8,800. If the revenue on the business was less than the expenses of the business, then we could also have a negative number that will be considered at net loss for that period of time. The statement of capital is a report that provides information on how the proprietor's capital has changed throughout the business. So as we said before, proprietor's capital is the ownership in assets of the business and whatever loss or gain that the business had during that period it belongs to the owner. In this case, the owner has also the right to keep the money made in the business or take it out of the business through a drawing or a withdrawal. The statement of capital is prepared to show the change in owner's asset in the business during an accounting period. The statement of capital is often prepared after the income statement because we need that income information that was provided to us uh, from the net income that we had for the year or the net loss. There was $12,400 as the be in the beginning of the year and we are adding $8,800 for the year as income. Joanne decided to take out $6,000 as a drawing. In larger companies this could be called a dividend. And the net increase in the capital when we subtract this two is $2,800. The amount of money that was considered to be what the business is worth to the proprietor or what the business, what the business owes to the proprietor is $15,200.
Another very important financial statement is the balance sheet. And the balance sheet shows a snapshot of a business on a specific date. It is also the report or the document that represents the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus capital. It provides a detailed listing of what the business owns, what it owes to its creditor, and what it's worth to the proprietor. Keep in mind that in this report, you're not seeing any revenues or expenses or drawings because these items are considered temporary accounts and they're often they're reflected only on the statement of capital. In the previous slides, we actually condensed that information or we combined that information to show only one change. So in the statement of capital, we have the drawings. In the income statement, we have expenses and revenues. In the balance sheet, the only thing we have is the current balance of the capital account for this period which was affected by the ex revenues and expenses and drawings that happened previously to that day. The balance sheet is not represented in an accounting period, it's actually represented at a point in time. So in this case, this will not be for the year ended, but it will only be December 31st, 2013. So this is the amount of money or the balances that each one of these accounts have for December 31st, 2013. We also have another type of balance sheet called the classified balance sheet. And what we do in the classified balance sheet is we break down each one of the accounts that we're showing in the balance sheet into different categories. So assets have four different categories. We have current assets, which are cash and other assets that you could they can easily be turned into cash usually within one year so we have investments that are short or long-term positioning of cash on the business that is sitting down and not producing more income so if you are have a business that has a lot of cash and is not planning to use it many businesses opt to invest the money either in bonds which are usually short term or stocks that are usually long terms to help that produce income for the business. We also have property, plant, and equipment, and these are long-term assets that are part of the operations of the business, but usually have a life longer than a year, such as uh, machinery, or if you have a computer or furniture, which is expected, or a building, which is expected to be used throughout a longer period of time than just one year. We also then categorize intangibles, and intangibles are Things that include copyrights, patent, goodwills, things that, are, that have no physical presence, but nevertheless, they do have value. We also classify li liabilities in two different sections. We have current liabilities that are expected to be paid in less than a year, such as invoices, salaries, and short-term obligations. And then we have long-term liabilities, and these are the ones that are expected to be payable longer than a year, uh, which, could, which could be a mortgage, a vehicle note, or a startup loan. So here we have the classified balance sheet, which is exactly the same balance sheet we'd had before. But in this case, it just breaks down the assets and the liabilities furthermore into different sections. So in this case, we have current assets and long-term assets. And here we have current liabilities and long-term liabilities. Take a look at the notes payable account. You lose usually the notes payable account are loans that you have to pay for a long period of time. But what the accountants do is they differentiate within the notes payable what payments must be made within a year or within the within the, the period and what payments needed to be made longer than a year. So in this case, $800 of this loan need to be paid within a year. The other $2,400 are considered long-term liabilities because it's going to take a longer time to pay out. So this is a snapshot of Joanne's bookkeeping business on December 31st, 2013. We have three main reports that 
businesses often use to provide information on how the business is, go is doing at a specific point in time. These are the income statement, the statement of capital, and the balance sheet. The income statement usually shows the net income or net loss for a period of time. Like in this case, for the year ending December 31st, 2013, we have revenues and expenses, bringing us net income in the bottom. The statement of capital shows how the ownership of the business changed throughout uh, the year. So how the capital that the owner owns on the business has changed over the years. And finally, we have the balance sheet, which represents pretty much the accounting equations, where it shows assets, liabilities, plus capital, and it shows how total assets must equal total liabilities and capital to satisfy the accounting equation. This is a classified balance sheet that breaks down assets and liabilities into current and longer term categories. Thank you for watching. If you do have any questions, please leave a comment below or shoot, shoot us an email. Thank you.